we've had a chance this season to get out and fish with the all-new Shimano Calcutta Conquest MD. This is the 400 XGLH, this year in Canada targeting Big Pike. How does it stack up to the reel that's been out since 2017 with the Shimano Tranks 400 HG? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back to Steam Family Outdoors. As always, if you like the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to our content. We really appreciate it. So let's dive into these two reels. Uh, the Calcutta Conquest MD is a newcomer and I picked this reel up uh, a few months back with the intent of using it pretty extensively on our annual Canada fishing trip targeting Big Pike. Uh, I've been using the Shimano Tranks 400 HG for the last several trips, again, targeting Big Pike, and it sets a high bar for a reel. But the question that we wanna to ask today is how do these two reels stack up against each other? And with the Conquest demanding almost double the investment, is it worth it over the Tranks 400 HD in market? So we're gonna go in and take a look at these reels. I have a spec sheet next to me just so I can talk through some of the specs of the reels and they really stack up close together from a, a spec standpoint. You know, both are 400 size Shimano reels. Gear ratios, the Tranks is at 7.6 to one. The Shimano is at 7.5 to one. Tranks is bringing in 39 inches per turn while the Calcutta Conquest is at 40. Gear ratios and retrieve speeds, almost identical. Line capacity, they're both able to hold 160 yards of 20 pound monofilament. Exactly the same. They both have 18 pounds of drag. Uh, the Conquest is about an ounce heavier. heavier. It's 12.9 ounces versus the 12 ounce for the Tranks. Bearings is where the big difference starts to come out, and that's where you pay for the refinement in the Conquest. The Shimano Calcutta Conquest MD is having 11. Um, it's 11 plus 1 bearings, where the Tranks is at 5 plus 1 bearings. So that's really where, you know, experiencing the real myself, the refinement and the smoothness of the Conquest comes into play. Uh, and then the big difference that jumps off the page as you look at it is the MSRP price. The Calcutta Conquest is coming in at $599, while the Tranks is coming in at $319. They use a lot also of Shimano's premium technologies. Um, I'll put those just up on the screen quick. I won't read through each one of those uh, technologies, but I am gonna pull a few of them out as we talk through the in-depth review and comparing these two reels. So the criteria, when I'm looking at a reel and when I'm gonna evaluate these two, comes into a few metrics. We've got ergonomics and size. So how well does that reel feel in your hand? Uh, the drag, so the performance of the drag, the refinement of the drag, the adjustments in the drag. These are big bait reels, big fish reels, drags really, really important. So we're gonna hit on the drag. Gearing, both power and smoothness. Uh, if, you're, if you're fishing with a 400 size reel, uh, we're in freshwater environments, so if you're a bass swim bait fisherman, if you're targeting muskies or northern pike, having really powerful and smooth uh, gearing is something that you pick up on right away. And then lastly, casting performance on those reels. So those are the areas that we're gonna dive into. Let's get started. So for ergonomics and size, I do wanna give us just a little closer look at both of these reels. Um, neither one significantly stands out to me when it comes to feel in the hand. Um, th the biggest difference, we'll turn to the side quick so you can get a look, is that Tranks does use your more low profile bait caster look while obviously the Calcutta Conquest is round. If you're palming the reel, this can come into play and in how well it sits in your hand. So what I'm going to do is I have a, um, just so I can handle it inside of the review, just a two-piece rod with a real seat. Um, this is a medium heavy musky rod. And I'm just going to pair them up quick, grab the calipers, and I can actually share that dimension of bottom of the real seat to top of the reel. So you get an understanding of, is there a difference if you would go to palm the reel? So I got my reloading calipers here and we're just going to do a quick linear line snap on on that dimension we're at make sure I got it good lined up 
2.702 inches for the tranks, 2.702. And then we're gonna do this with the Conquest as well. And you know, this might not be the perfect analogy for how well it's gonna feel in your hand, but I do just wanna give some insight right to a, a quantifiable measure on how these reels set up. And if you're if you're palming the reel and you're looking at two reels like this, you might already have a, a notion of what you like in your reel, if you like a bait caster or if you like a round reel preference, but you'll at least have this as a data point to know as well. So that was at 2.702. And we're at right at 2.9. So take away there is about two tenths of an inch, just under a quarter inch difference between these when it comes to the height from the bottom of the reel seat. So again, I'm measuring from right here, the bottom of the reel seat to the top of the spool when that reel is attached. So we're using at least a common rod platform and getting that measurement. So your mileage will vary based on the size of real estate, real seat you used, but the delta and difference between the two should be consistent uh, at about two tenths of an inch. So things when I look at the ergonomics and size as well, we look at the handles on these reels. I switched out the Tranks 400. This is the HG version. The HG comes with the, pa the power handle. I am a double paddle handle fan, so I switched it out to the A handle and this does give us a really nice comparison because the Conquest also uses the double paddle handle. Um, I'll give the Conquest some props. I love the big knobs on the Conquest. When you're working that reel, you know, when your hand gets on it, you've got a lot of area to grip onto. Um, really, really, really was a fan of that improvement in the handle. Um, I never felt like I was underpowered with the Tranks, but when you handle the big knobs on the Conquest versus the knobs on the Tranks. Uh, noticeable difference in favor of the Conquest on that one. The handle dimensions are exactly the same. So they're both a hundred millimeter handle in you know axle to axle length on handles. So overall ergonomics are very similar. You get a little bit of weight savings. So about just under an ounce, 0.9 ounces of weight savings at the Tranks. It sits a little closer to the handle of your rod. So if you're palming the reel, you could argue it's a little easier to palm the Tranks. For a round reel, the Conquest does great. Uh, that's one of the features that they have is that body dimension difference. So when you look at the gearing side compared to the non-geared side, they have um, really reduced that dimension to make it easier to palm. But the Conquest does have a slight edge in that front. So I, I, I'd give a slight edge in, not edge in ergonomics for most anglers. I think you'll appreciate the Tranks. I don't palm my reel. I like to use the foregrip when I'm fishing uh, um, rods, especially for musky, just so I have hook set power available. I don't notice that as much. I really liked the handle on the Conquest more. So I, it's a toss up for me. Your mileage may vary, but I just want to tr present the information uh, as transparently as possible. Let's move into the drag. So the drag on both of these reels is 18 pounds, similar drag technologies. There's not going to be a significant difference in drag. The one that this is a, again, and this is a preference thing. And if you're talking a, you know, nearly $300 difference in reels, this is probably not gonna be the thing that makes or breaks it for you. But what I do like, I'll get this closer so we get some good audio. I love the clicking drag. Uh, that's just, a, I'm a big fan of that on reels. Um, and the Conquest doesn't disappoint. Both are using the same drag technology. They're both using the cross carbon drag system. They both have good drag adjustments, just showing the clicks on both. So both have good drag adjustments, really solid drags. Both of these have fought fish, um, you know, over 45 inches. I've had drag pulls, um, smooth drags, no complaints. Again, this for me is a, a toss up on reels. 
if you like a click and drag, you'll appreciate that refinement on the Conquest. That's part of, again, these are little things. That's part of what you're getting when you spend $300 more on a real, um, on the Conquest versus the Tranks. Gearing. I, for me, this is where the Conquest starts to pull ahead, and it's in the gearing element. So we'll look at the technologies that I showed up on screen earlier, and there's what, some that stick out here. And Tranks uses Shimano's X-Ship tech, while the Conquest is using the new Infinity Drive. So both of these are about gear efficiency. The Infinity Drive on the Conquest and the Micro Module Gear, which is also a newer tech that's on the Conquest, it's part of their flagship real line, um, really, really give that connected feeling to the lure. Um, it's, it's the one thing on this reel that stuck out more than anything when I was using it, um, the, the most, is that feel, that connection to the lure. There wasn't that, sometimes you feel grit, and I would have never thought I felt grit with the Trank. So I, I don't want to make it sound like the Tranks is a gritty, unrefined reel, but in comparison, it really pops when you're using that Shimano Calcutta Conquest. And part of it is in those techs, those technologies I talked through, um, when you start optimizing the, the Infinity Drive is really about optimizing your pinion gear. So your pinion gear is that um, smaller gear that's going to your main gear that's ultimately spinning the spool. And when you optimize that for size, both thickness and diameter, you get more strength and you get more, um, not more but less slop in the reel. When you have the micro module gearing, you're having more teeth engaged, more surface area. So again, you're getting more surface area engaged with the gears in the reel. Um, some folks from Shimano are saying that you see up to 30% more power. I don't know so much about, and I can't speak to feeling power, but I'll tell you what, I can speak to feeling smoothness. There is no doubt the Conquest is such a smooth and refined reel. And those techs, technologies really jumped out to me. And I give a significant advantage to the Conquest on that front. All right, the last topic I had in here to hit on was casting performance. And casting performance on these, if you're throwing really big swim baits with the wind at your back, you probably aren't needing a lot of adjustments to begin with. I'm gonna hit the refinement things that I like. First, your cast control knob, I'll bring it up again. These are little things. You get that click, fine adjustment casting knob with the Conquest. I love that. I love when you take the plate, it rotates to the side, and then you can make your adjustment on your SVS uh, brakes that are here. The Conquest runs eight. The Tranks is running your traditional six on that system. And the plate doesn't come off, so your plate stays attached when you make those adjustments. You've got the lever in the back to lock it in place. And then this is also using the MD tune adjustments so you can fine tune your braking as well. And where I use this and where I think especially your musky and pike anglers will appreciate it is when you go from casting lures um, like top a top water um, or a glide bait, a jerk bait, something that has ability to cut through the wind pretty well. And then you go and cast a bucktail and maybe you need to cast the bucktail into the wind. That MD tune makes it so easy to fine tune adjust the reel. So I like to set my brakes where, hey, I can bomb cast um, pretty well with my hard baits with the wind at my back, open it up, and then I use that MD tune up to max. It really helps with the bucktail. So that's, that's casting refinement that I really like. I like the external adjustments. I would never make the adjustment on the plates. Um, I, I might be more inclined to do on the Conquest. Full disclosure, I didn't. But I could see myself being more inclined because the plate stays on. Another thing that I like is that the Conquest has the non-disengaging level wind. So when you cast, the level wind will move back and forth. When you have drag that comes out, the level wind will move back and forth with it so you consistently get good. Um, the line comes in and off smooth from the reel. It stacks in well on the spool. I'm a huge fan of that in my 400 size reels. The con the Tranks doesn't have the click adjustment on your cast tension. It has a disengaging level wind, which 
you can hear arguments that will help with casting distance because uh, that spool spinning isn't also driving that level line back and forth. I don't know about that so much, but I do really, I, I, pre I have a preference to the non-disengaging level line. And then with the side plate on the tranks, let's see if I can get that to pop off. This is another one I've always struggled a little bit to get that to rotate off. The side plate does come completely off. Um, this is one, and it's a it's a habit that sticks with me. I adjust this here at home. I put three brakes on, three brakes off. I put this back on, and I never touch it again. So I will never adjust my brakes on the water with the tranks because the plate coming off terrifies me. That I would just do the one time stupid thing and I lose the side plate into the lake when I really need it most. One last consideration for those of you watching. Um, the Cal Calcutta Conquest does come with X-Protect as well. So X-Protect is about making sure that this the reel's better sealed up, really powerful for your saltwater anglers. Um, I'm not a saltwater angler, so I won't speak to how well that works or the difference you may see in corrosion resistance over time. Um, I don't have experience with that, but it is something to keep in mind if you're a saltwater angler looking at those reels and you have familiarity with that feature. So... You know the differences now in the Conquest and the Tranks. $300 is a lot of money. There's no doubt to me that the Conquest is the objectively better reel. Take price out of it. You want the Conquest all day long. It's more refined. You're breaking adjustments. You have two of them to make. It makes a huge difference in the performance and casting. You've got all the things that I like as refinements on reels with clicking cast adjustments, clicking drag alarm going out, non-disengaging level line on the reels. This is a premium flagship reel, but it is priced as such. So is it worth it? It's going to come down to you and your budget for fishing. Uh, you may even ask yourself, do I want to have a Tranks 400 and a backup Tranks 400 for just a little bit more than I pay for one Calcutta Conquest MD? If you're a traveling angler and you're flying into Canada or you're flying to a remote lake or you're going on a you know, once in a lifetime big bass trip and you're bringing your own equipment, having a backup reel is a really great place to be at. I'll say from my seat, I'm not getting rid of my Calcutta Conquest. It's earned a place in the starting lineup for my 400 size reel when we go on our Canada fishing trips. I'm also not getting rid of my tranks. It's trusty and tried and true, and I always love having a backup reel that is premium, spooled with braid, and ready to rock should something go wrong. So what did I miss out on? What questions do you have on these reels? I've got good experience with both at this point, so happy to answer any questions you have in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors.